Well now, has come down quite a far way since I was here last, a week and a half. And yeah, before anyone says they do, you're late! Not my problem, I have to go to work. Anyway, before we get too far in, morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever the fluff you are. And welcome to that catch up of that dirt demolition site. The hoardings down here have all gone, showing, you know, the decimation and everything that's happened. Still nice to see some of the old structures standing, which obviously is going to be used for that new market hall, which some people have still questioned, is it actually going to get built? Which, that question will be on many people's lips. But, hey, nobody knows apart from the people in charge. Anyway, this is... You've always got to have some rando that likes to get in on camera. This is how it goes, people. Hey, vlog bombers and photo bombers are welcome. I don't really mind. It's all part of the fun out here, but... Let's give you a better look from this angle since this is a view and a little walkway that many people have been missing quite a few years. You can see how quickly they've gone round that corner. Obviously got something there chipping away. To use the um, cyberpunk expression, it's chipping in. <laughs> yes I know, that's not funny. But when you've got all these angles down here to use, this just shows how much of it has been taken out. Just look at this. Now, all the way to the back of there, how far it all came down. Like you can see all the basements and everything around here. Like, you know, you've got your basement plots over here, and your other ends, and obviously, marvellous mound of muck. This one might not actually be too long because we're probably going to be just in this little sector and zone. I might take a few other angles, but not by much anyway. Obviously, the long reach looks like it's just having a quick rest at the moment. Uh, and they're munching their way through that, which is happening pretty damn fast. And obviously, this is all going to be. Uh, Soon to be something else with what this is supposed to be where the um, like the cube or whatever it's going to be called is going to be there's some entertainment spaces and other things around us anyway let's see if I can get a quick zoom zoom in over there I'm going to zoomy zoom there for this this just shows you how quickly this eaten their way through this. It's all quite fun. But... So you've got those two there working in tandem. One pecking away at something while the other's digging it out. And you've got that one down there that's moving, there's two over there. Sorry they're moving around that and doing some sorting by the looks of that. Obviously the uh, Crusher that we spotted last time out, so sat there, so obviously any muck from over here goes down there. Right, let's zoomy zoom back out. And I'll give you a quick pause, and then we'll probably just find one or two more angles and then we'll wrap up. So, pause! Well, here we are down the other side, and you can see how much of it they've actually chopped out, which is. Uh, a huge amount. Obviously they're going to be trying to hide some of this lot from us from our gazing view. But obviously you can just about see that. Let's get through here. Yes I can. Awesome. So yeah you guys can see from here how much of this is going to get round all of this. Which is a huge amount. Which when you look at it from the point of view where you got all the scar, it's like wow, that is coming down very fast. 
Yeah, then. Obviously, they boarded up the side so I can't actually see down the mini way, but you know, still see all of that. Which I am going to again reiterate rather than taking down the old market hall, what is now the old market hall anyway, rather than take that down, I would, if it was me doing all the plannings, I would turn that into an indoor arena. And yes, so the very loud moped. Someone took the baffles out by the sounds of that. But yeah, rather than, you know, continuing the decimation and alteration I would to be honest turn what is now going to probably become the old market hall or the 80s market hall I would turn that into an indoor arena because at least you could get a decent amount of people in there and you could get some basketball and some ice hockey and what all the ex exhibitions you could get some bigger shows in there you get all sorts of stuff going on because then we'd actually have something there and then create more sports teams. So create an ice hockey team. We could probably be one of the, the many homes for the um, what, Manchester Lightning, or whatever they are, for that. We'll get some basketball going, see if we could get some tours over. You know, I've probably said this a hundred times in other videos, but that is what I would do because it's tall enough. You know, the floor planning there is big enough to be able to host you know, a decent size arena floor and then get some decent stands in there you could probably get about a 10,000 capacity inside of there no need really to go too big you know it's tall enough it's got the big grand back you know entryways or to use the Roman equivalent the vomitoria there's a plenty of big grand entryways and everything that you can use for stuff so you know not like it wouldn't be utilizing something that they've already got if it needed a little bit of jiggery pokery then yeah by all means take a tin open to the roof and do a few little uh, changes but nothing too drastic you know like you know we questioned it many times do we really need to have you know a town center part for a hotel do we really need that when we've got all the rest of the stuff we've got all the other hotels so we've got all of those, so do we really need another one? I don't think so. Just my view. Just my view. Anyways, let's continue walking. We'll go to Willis's first down here, which now looks like it's wide open. And I think we will just end it there. Because we're heading on towards 10 minutes. We're already over 8 minutes now. So uh, I think we will just walk there. Yeah, I left you rolling so that you could see some of the places that would be disappearing once this is uh, chanced on as well. You know? Since we've got all of the wide open space now for this, you can actually see through here have a look at it from this angle down here and I think that's going to be our ending point I believe but yeah see I would definitely turn this into more of an, you know, an indoor arena than anything else and then sort out the car parking as well because you know it's a big enough space all right yeah it might need a little bit of work through it, obviously it could possibly be a little bit too tight on one corner but make it a bit more intimate and it will be cool. It doesn't really need to be a huge, massive thing, does it? It doesn't need to be, a, you know, a great pleasure palace, does it? You know, you've got plenty of space there. It would look pretty cool. And it, you know, if you, like, you know, gave it a bit of a facelift and moved, went back into that industrial style look, make it look like the factory or whatever you want to call it, you know, you could do that. And then you could also utilize the clock you know, because then you could actually use that. Maybe make the clock face a little bit bigger and stuff like that, or, you know, maybe not have the clock face there at all and just have big screens on it so that you can actually, like, you know, have big advert boards. I know, some people are going to say it's Americanizing, but unfortunately that's the way that the world goes right now. 
but with all of this going on and as you can just about see through there the marvellous mound of muck appearing I will sign out so peace out remember life is only what you put into it if you put a lot in you'll get a lot back if you put little in you will get little back don't give yourself a brain aneurysm be good to everyone, especially in this festive period. I know it's going to be challenging for some people. Your mental health is always important. Peace out. See you star side. Goodbye.